One question I get asked a lot, either in person or online, is which presentation app is best? And that's a tricky question. So here's the deal. Today, I'm going to focus on four different presentation apps and tell you what I think is the best out of these four and what my personal favorite is. Along the way, you may be saying to yourself, yeah, but I use a different app than the ones you've listed. If you've got a favorite and I don't list it, then let me know in the comments. I'll check it out and maybe I'll go from having a top four to a top five. Okay. For today's purposes, we're going to focus on Microsoft PowerPoint, Apple Keynote, Google Slides, and Prezi. These are the four that I would say if you want to get started in presentations, you should use one of those four whether you are a student, a teacher, or an adult in business. And with that in mind, here's what I usually do. When someone asks me what the best presentation app is, I have three different questions I ask first. The first one is, what is required? If you're a student, what's required for the class? What does the rubric say? What does your teacher require? That's the app you should use. If you're an employee, what does your company require you to use? Or if you're working with a client, what have they requested you to use because it's what they want to use to present the finished product? In each of those situations, it really doesn't matter any other questions we could ask. What matters is what is required of you. That ends all other questions. Now, if you have a preference for a different presentation app than what's required of you, you can always ask if you can use that one instead of the one that they're asking you to use. But keep in mind, there's usually, usually a reason behind what they want you to use. And at the end of the day, if it's required of you, that's what you're gonna have to use. It would be better for you to learn how to design and present effectively with that app than to fight your way for your presentation platform. Now, if we get to the first question, you say there's no requirements. I don't have to use any specific app. Then we get to my second question. What do you have? Which of these apps do you already have on your device? And more importantly, which do you have more experience using? Working on an assignment for class or a project for your job is not the time to experiment with a new presentation app. If you want to try something out that you haven't used before, I highly recommend doing so just for fun when there's no pressure on you. That gives you time to check out tutorials and helpful resources like videos here on YouTube while you learn how to use it. Once you're confident with that new app, then build a presentation as if it was required of you and practice presenting using it. Record yourself and see how it goes. Is something not right? Do you have trouble with something? Do you have questions? Then work on or ask and seek help for what you didn't understand or what didn't work the way you wanted it to. If it does work well and you believe you do have a good mastery of it, now you can add this to the options you have for giving a presentation. It's always better for you to improve your skills on what you already have than to try to go find a different app and have to learn from scratch from the beginning. What if there's no requirements for you and you have access to all four of these main presentation apps that we're focusing on today. Then we get to my final question. What is best? In other words, think through the context in which you're building and delivering your presentation. Are you in the classroom? Are you in a office building? Are you working remotely? Are you working with others or by yourself? Think about where you're going to deliver the presentation. Will it be virtually through the cloud? Will it be in a room on a projector or on a large screen TV? Is it going to be on a small portable device? All those things will lead you to ask what is best for that situation. The type of presentation you need to give and the features that make that presentation most effective will lead you to which one is best. And here's the deal. None of these is the best in everything. Even the one that is my favorite, the one I use the most, is still not the best for everything. And I've seen people try to use each of these for all the different ways, and it just doesn't work that way. If you want to be effective, then I would suggest using the following guide to choose which presentation app to use. If you're working on a device running Microsoft Windows, then in general, your best option is going to be Microsoft PowerPoint. This is especially true if you need to share with others in your school or workplace who also run Windows. Now I know Prezi and Slides can both work on any device because they're cloud-based. But in general, I would start with Microsoft PowerPoint. What if you're using a Mac, iOS, or iPadOS device? 
then I would say your best app to start with is Apple's Keynote. Again, I know you can run all four of these presentation apps on any of these devices. However, in general, if you are on an Apple device, Keynote is your best presentation app to look at first, just like if you're on a Windows device, PowerPoint is your best one. Now, if you wanna be cloud-based, where what you build is run through a web browser instead of an on-device app, then you'd have a tie between Prezi and Google Slides. Again, I'll say this and probably for the last time, I know you could say similar things about PowerPoint and Keynote, but if cloud-based work is your focus, then these are the two apps I would look at first in that context. In most businesses, and I would say most, and this is probably traditionally, PowerPoint is probably what you should use. It's likely that your company has this available for you and probably has been building previous presentations on it. You might be a company that uses another platform as that kind of situation is becoming more common, but overall PowerPoint will be your best in most businesses. Now keep in mind, I know you probably have seen a lot of bad PowerPoint presentations. I've seen bad presentations on all of these platforms. It's all about using the right presentation skills whatever tool you use. So if you're using PowerPoint, don't shy away just because of the death of PowerPoint video and what people say about PowerPoint. PowerPoint used well can be an effective presentation tool. And I happen to have some videos that give you some presentation skill tips that can help you raise the bar and set you apart from others who use PowerPoint. What about most schools? In most schools, and this might be just the case where I live, but from what I have seen, even online, in most schools, Google Slides would be the preferred presentation platform. A lot of schools are using the Google suite of apps for their students, um, and it's a great way to collaborate. As a side note, you will probably find teachers encouraging students to work on slides on a Chromebook, laptop, or desktop computer because the tablet version of this is so limited. I will also say that in many schools now, because of the popularity of iPads, Keynote is one of the more popular presentation apps for students and for teachers. Apple has added more collaboration features and some cloud-based options that make this better for students and teachers working in groups. But once again, do keep in mind there are some things that work better or easier on a MacBook or iMac than they do on an iPad. What about collaboration? If working with other people is the most important feature for you, especially if you're going to work remotely where you're not all in the same place together, then you'll probably want to use Google Slides. Other apps allow you to collaborate as well, but not as strongly as Slides. This is really the number one feature that I would say would make you use Google Slides. It works really well with people simultaneously working on a single presentation better than any other app I have seen. Well, what if your main need is visuals and graphic design? The look of the presentation is really important to you. Then I would say Apple's Keynote should be your first pick. It allows you to create visually powerful and effective presentations, even if you have little to no design skills. Keynote was originally designed for Apple's co-founder and then CEO Steve Jobs, who used very highly visual and clean graphically designed presentations. This is in the DNA of Keynote and in most Apple events you see today, they still use the same software and you can see why it works so well. Along with that, if animations or magic are part of what you need, then Apple's Keynote is also the best for this. It simply allows you to create some effects that wow your audience and grab their attention. I do have to warn you though, using too much of these or using them wrongly can ruin a really good presentation. But used correctly, these can bring a wow factor, a how did he do that moment to your presentation that can set you apart from everybody else. Now, one of my favorite techniques to use when creating a presentation is building a storyboard to grab some index cards, to write down some keywords or some quick sketches, and then I can arrange them however I want before I actually build a digital presentation. But sometimes you might want to create a digital storyboard where you have the slides with just a single word or phrase and a real simple icon or image on it just to give you an idea of what you're doing. Well, if you use Apple's Keynote, the lightboard feature it has allows you to see it as if it was a table of cards and you can rearrange them and sort them and skip them and enable them. Um, and that is really your best one to use for that. I know there's a lot of haters out there for the Prezi app, but I have loved it over the years. Now I have definitely seen presentations that make me sick from people who don't know how to use the pan and zoom feature, just like people who do filming with their phone or camera and don't understand the speed at which they're moving around make people sick. But used well, 
There are several situations where my go-to app would be Prezi for a presentation. One of those that Prezi has done great from the beginning is to conceal and reveal, to hide a word or an image and reveal it when you want it to be revealed in your presentation. The other thing is to be able to show the part of a whole, to be able to show like the tip of an iceberg and then at a, at a great moment or the end of the presentation, show the whole, like the whole iceberg above and below water. Prezi allows you to do that anytime you want to show part of something and how it relates to the whole of something larger, Prezi is your best presentation app. You may show maps as a part of your presentation, but if a map is the main thing you're presenting, then Prezi is the tool you should use. It allows you to easily take your audience on a visual journey along a path and to pan and zoom around a map and it makes it its go-to presentation app for this. You can look at different parts of your map and move around in a way that are either impossible or would take way too much time in any other presentation tool. So I highly encourage you to check that out. Similarly, I've seen a very creative set of presentations done where the presentation was designed as a board game and you moved around different spaces on the game using Prezi to present your information, also with sometimes parts of whole and conceal and reveal. Finally, I know that you can show a timeline in any presentation app. There are even ways to create an illusion, and I've shown this in Google Slides and in Apple's Keynote, how you can make it look like it's one big timeline that you're moving across on your screen. However, once again, nothing is as simple and effective for showing parts of a timeline moving forward or backward along it or zooming in and out like Prezi is. You might be wondering, I get all that, but what's your favorite presentation app? Which one's the best? Well, from what I've just shown you, I wouldn't say any of them are the best because they each shine in different ways. And although they all can do a lot of the same similar things, there are definitely characteristics I've just presented that some are learning how to do while others have already mastered. But if you wanna know my personal favorite, what I use to build a lot of the presentations that are part of these videos, the text, the animations, the graphics, uh, my presentation go-to app is Apple's Keynote. I've been using it for 20 years since it first came out in 2003, and I'm almost always able to present from a MacBook, iPad, iPhone, or iMac, so I'm presenting natively on an Apple device. Because of that, Keynote is my go-to presentation app. However, like you'll see on this channel, I've been working in situations like my local middle school where what was required of me was to use Google Slides. So I learned and adapted to it for those situations. And if you'll see when you watch the videos I have on presentation skills, those skills that I had learned on Keynote transferred over into working on Google Slides. No matter what, please hear my final piece of advice for presentation apps. It's more about how you use it than anything else. And like I said, I have plenty of other videos offering you tips and advice on presentation skills here that will apply no matter which app you choose. The best presentation app with poor presentation skills will not deliver an effective presentation, whether you are a student, a teacher, or a business professional. Learn effective presentation skills, consider the questions I've offered here today when choosing which app to use, and tell the world what you have to say. Do you agree or disagree with my suggestions? Is there a context or feature I didn't mention? Let me know in the comments below and we'll continue this conversation. Like I said, maybe we'll create another video thanks to your comments and feedback.